Hi everyone, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com here doing a 2020 Topps Chrome Baseball Hobby 12 box case break pick your team number 4 on release day. We just did a pack filler to fill up the spots so you'll see these little corn and pack 3. That means those spots were given away in the last one pack break so congrats to all those. Chicago White Sox, obviously big team, Matthew Shearish, Luis Robert. And here is our new case. I just did my first uh, jumbo. This will be my first pop. What's up, Dan? See? There's 12 boxes for us. We've got one box that's backwards on us. You can see right here. Maybe that's a special box. We'll see. leave it like it is. See if it uh, means anything. Maybe it's a pattern. Dolphins are expensive. You got Tua Tagovailoa. Uh, NFL one, the, I'm guessing you're saying gold standard. Uh, gold standard break number eight is after this, Dan. See if we can find any more super fractors. Exactly, Dan. As an Angels fan, I always hope to pull my crowd. I like to spread the word and the span of the greatest uh, baseball player of all time. On pace to be the greatest baseball player of all time.
first auto, Anthony K for the Toronto Blue Jays. Refractor rookie auto to 499, 478 to 499, going to Peter Lyles. Jordan Alvarez, rookie refractor, Houston Astros, Jay Remington. Nico Horner, 35th anniversary, refractor, going to the Chicago Cubs, and Eric Ainge. Sheldon Noose, freshman flash, rookie, Oakland A's, I, uh, I Capola. Oh, and then for all those uh, checking in right now that are watching on replay, there will be a recap at the end of the video. So unless you really want to sit through an hour or so of breaking or more, um, go ahead and skip forward and we'll do a recap at the end. Tom Eshelman, rookie auto, Baltimore Orioles. Going to Alan Murdoch. Danny Jansen, negative refractor. Toronto Blue Jays, that's going to Peter Elias. Shohei Otani, Refractor, 35th Anniversary. Going to David Wright. Or, sorry, uh, Daniel Witcher. And the uh, Los Angeles Angels. Bo Bichette, base rookie, going to the Toronto Blue Jays and Peter Elias. Bo Bichette, Freshman Flash. Toronto Blue Jays, Refractor, Peter Elias. Box one. See? Makes it that much better. I'm actually watching the replay of the Angels lost from earlier tonight too. That's not so much fun, but huge Angels fan, Dan. My brother and I actually have uh, like like the half half season tickets. We've had them for like probably like. Since 2010, so 10 years now. He definitely is on pace to be the best of all time. If he can avoid injuries. I mean, there, there will be people that will always say, you know, so-and-so from back in the day, but... I think when people watch him and just see what he does, and they're just like, how? And the funny thing is, like, he doesn't steal as much as he used to, but, like, he was the best at stealing, too. And it's not because he's slower anymore. He's still got the, he's still got the speed. He just, I think he realizes now, like, they've gone over it and said, oh. Luis Robert, base rookie. Chicago White Sox, Matthew Shearer. I think they showed him, like, even the times that he does get caught, him being on base is just so much more valuable.
Exactly. Yeah, I mean, that's... His hand injury was pretty bad. And they just said, like, hey, not worth it. Losing you from being able to hit for you to get extra bases every once in a while. I think that same year the Angels did do a, a oven mitt giveaway, which is pretty funny. Because he wore pretty much an oven mitt to protect his hand. I mean, what? He's had four, four or five games since he got since his, since his, the birth of his son, and uh, and he uh, been watching since '92. And when you were eight, I was uh, I was seven at that time, Dan. So right around the same time. Um. Well, hopefully you get some some Sean Lojo. Yes, we are. I'm okay with it though. We're old, but at the same point, like we're also young compared to like how old like we're supposed to live, you know? Yeah. Huge Angels fan. I actually grew up uh, right around the corner from Angel Stadium. I live. Dan, right now, I live uh, an Uber ride from my house to Angel Stadium is about $5. Yeah, look at me go. That's how close I live now. <laughs> Mike Trout, refractor, die cut. Going to David, uh, Daniel W. Nico Horner, freshman flash. Refractor going to uh, Cubs, Eric Ainge. Matt Thice, rookie prism. Going to Dan. Where do you live, Dan? Freshman Flash, Dustin May. Refractor going to the Dodgers and Ryan Harold. Ari Stades, Aquino, base, going to the Cincinnati Reds and Ryan O'Malley. South Carolina? Okay. Yeah, come on out. There's plenty of reason to come out here. Southern California is pretty awesome. Jordan Alvarez, 35th anniversary refractor, going to the Houston Astros and Jay Remington. Edwin Rios, rookie prism for the Dodgers. That's going to Ryan Harold. Bo Bichette, rookie base. Toronto Blue Jays, Peter Elias. Nick Solak, rookie auto for the Texas Rangers. That's going to Steve Locke. Congratulations, Steve. That'd be cool, Dan. Dustin May, rookie refractor, Dodgers, Ryan Harold. Jordan Alvarez, rookie base, Houston Astros, and Jay Remington. Robbie Ray, negative refractor, Arizona Diamondbacks, Matthew yeah. Stubblefield. Rookie auto, Jordan Yamamoto for the Miami Marlins. That's going to Eric Jock. Brendan McKay. Rookie refractor, 35th anniversary for the Tampa Bay Rays. And Eric Ainge.
Okay, this time I'm going to do two boxes at the same time. Just keep them in separate stacks so we can make sure we still get the two autos per box. Since the pack stacking actually takes a little bit longer than going through the packs themselves. So Dan, are you a Angels fan or are you just a fan of Mike Trout and obviously the potential value there? Eagles? Okay. So are you originally from Philly area or, well, Phil, uh, Trout's an Eagles fan, so... So you're originally from the Philly area? Okay. Oh, Ann Arbor, Michigan? Raised, born in Ann Arbor, raised in uh, Pennsylvania. Okay. So are you, a, are you a Michigan fan too? Hey. Happens to a lot of people. Lots and lots of people. Uh, with the UM. So my brother is a, uh, a Michigan fan. Undergrad. The real <laughs> Uh Javon Kinlaw went to, you, to South Carolina, right, Dan? I think. That guy's story is awesome. Devo. I think Javon Kinlaw did. The kid that, uh, yeah, that just got drafted. I don't have three majors. I only got two. I've got a bachelor's in um, economics and in marketing. Damn. What was your master's in? I didn't want to do any graduate, so I just did a double major. It's like I was set to graduate. I was set to graduate with uh, with my econ, and then it was either do uh, marriage family therapy. Nice. It was either do graduate work in economics or something else or just get another double major or a second major so I did that yeah I've, I've heard Dan I've got some friends that do it it's crazy years and years and years of schooling that's cool 
I have a friend that does a in-house counseling for um, for uh, like a, a rehab, like a second a second chance home in like a richer part of uh, Southern California. Eh, I mean, everybody has their, uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously there's a little bit of a gamble, right, Dan? And you know it. But I think what's different from this than, like, gambling gambling is, like, you actually get something physical from it, you know? So, like, there's, ga there's, there's betting on, like, teams and stuff like that. But, like, this, you actually have a physical good. So. And I think the other thing, too, is... There's also the prospecting part of this too. You know what I mean? So like with you getting the angels in this, right? You've got rookies like Matt Theis and other players too. So you get a lot of, you know, the prospecting part of it. So it's like, uh, maybe you didn't do so well today on paper because those players aren't the superstars yet. But back when Mike Trout was a rookie, if you were getting you know, Mike Trout rookies, it was kind of like, whatever. But then nowadays, it's like, holy hell. So, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it happens, Dan. Like, honestly, when people, uh, even, so I was on the other end. I was a customer of, of Jaspies and other breakers before I, I started working here. And that was one of the things when I started here. It was, the rule was I couldn't get it, I couldn't go in on our breaks anymore because it's just not fair. Oh. Well, right on top here, we've got a cool card for the Yankees. And it's a rookie variation or rookie auto patch for Glaber Torres. It's a reproduction of his rookie. That's numbered 46 and 99. Nice. That's going to the New York Yankees and Nick Stober. Congrats, Nick. These cool. These things look amazing. I love that they reproduced the rookie card and just threw a, a relic and an auto on it. Eh, I mean, Dan, like one, just like baseball, you have to take your swings. So you're gonna, you know. You're gonna, you're gonna strike out more often than I think you're gonna, you know, you're gonna hit. But when you hit, if you hit big, you know, like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. And that's the thing is, you just have to figure out what your limit is, what your availability is, and what you're comfortable with. You know what I mean? Kyle Lewis, 35th anniversary refractor. Seattle Mariners, Mark Fassett. Abraham Toro, rookie auto for the Houston Astros, going to Jay Remington. Congrats, Jay. Mike Trout. Well, Dan, or you got a little corner issue right there. Straight out of the pack. Just a heads up. Obviously not the best thing there. I know. That was straight out of the pack, unfortunately. None of the other cards were like that. AJ Puck, 35th anniversary refractor, Oakland Athletics. Yeah. Hopefully we get another one in here, though, Dan. To make up for it. Luis Robert, base rookie. Chicago White Sox, Matthew Shira. Jalen Davis, rookie auto, San Francisco Giants. That's going to I. Coppola. 
Mike Trout Refractor. Going to Dan. Kettle Marte, purple. Number to 299. Going to the Arizona Diamondbacks and Matthew Stubblefield. Jesus Lazardo, freshman flash. Rookie refractor. Oakland Athletics, I Coppola. Jordan Alvarez, base rookie. Houston Astros, Jay Remington. That base refractor should be pretty good, though, Dan, huh? Freshman Flash, Jordan Alvarez, Refractor. Houston Astros, Jay Remington. How good is Trout in this? I mean, Trout's good in everything, Dan. He's good in everything. Like, his value in every product is huge. Domingo Leva, rookie green to 99, number 83 of 99 for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Matthew Stubblefield. Gavin Lux, face rookie. Dodgers, Ryan Harold. Kyle Lewis, face rookie. Mariners, Mark Bissett. Brian Abreu, rookie auto for the Astros, orange, numbered out of 25, 7 out of 25, Houston Astros, Jay Remington, congrats. Aristides Aquino, 35th anniversary refractor, Cincinnati Reds, that's going to Ryan Maloney. Luis Robert, freshman flash, rookie refractor, Chicago White Sox, Matthew Shearer. Yusai Kikuchi, orange, to 25 of 25 for the Seattle Mariners. And that's going to Mark Bissett. And that's boxes three and four. So, Dan, the big thing is with these products, Mike Trout's kind of like the exception because in most cases... The vets in this stuff aren't really crazy, but Trout being the exception because of the fact that he's he's Mike Trout, greatest player there is, potentially greatest player there ever was, stuff like that, right? But all these Topps products in most cases are are like chasing for rookies. You know what I mean? You're prospecting. Like this is all of these players. Of course, man. I mean, go look up, uh, when you get a chance, go look up 2019 Topps Chrome and look up Trout Refractors Graded and see what those are going for. Because that'll kind of give you an idea of what, you know, this year's stuff is, is, like, would potentially go for in price. Is that what the last year is, 2019? So there you go, man. Oh, 300 raw for 19 or 20? Seems expensive, but hey, what do I know? Oh, this year, yeah, Dan. Those will go. Those will go down as stock gets onto the market. I would say look up 2019. 
and look up Topps Chrome Mike Trout Refractors from 2019 raw and then look at graded and that'll give you an idea of what the pricing you should expect from this year's as well you know what i mean so there you go is that one the 150 is raw damn that's still impressive so let's see if we can find you a couple of them right That's coming up after this trend. Uh, gold standards coming up after this, man. Uh, I'm good. I'm very good. It's release day. This stuff's fun. Hit a Mike Trout Super Fractor in my first case, so. Uh, De Devin, no, not in that. Sure, man. Why not? Why not, Dan? Um, a any that have been pulled? Not that I saw my half. Have you seen any in the other breaks at all, Trent? Uh, Devin, potentially, go ahead and check uh, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Let's go to the site. Take a look and see what's closest to selling out. Only seen like four, uh, four or five. Swift and Okuda. Okay. Well, there was none in the first half of this break, so maybe eight has some in that one. I would have remembered seeing DeAndre Swift or obviously Jeff Okuda. I did hit a Justin Herbert in that first half, which is pretty cool. As a Chargers fan, obviously, I like seeing that. Teddy, you going home yet? <laughs> hi, everybody. Say hi to Teddy. That beautiful man behind me. Uh, That's crooked. No, thing. no it's a uh, tie rod. That Dodger thing is crooked. Take it down. Take it down. What are you talking about? That Dodger thing is crooked. The the picture? Yeah. How is it crooked? Because I'm a freaking a stable, reasonable, handsome man, and I walked in the room, <laughs> and I, I could immediately see Trent, that it's crooked. Trent says, Teddy! Who's that? Say hi. Aaron. Who? Trent. Who's that? Hey, yeah. You can't just say hi to the people? I don't know. I don't know him. Yeah, well, you do know Aaron. I don't know you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, it's Aaron. Yeah, that's oh, what I up, said. Aaron? <laughs> oh my god Teddy's had a rough day I guess He was here when I got here today So Yes yes. Teddy is tired I've told Teddy multiple times I'm like dude why don't you just sleep in your car I, just, well, I, I told him I was like dude, Let's just like rage one night Just go all night And just sleep in your car you know And he's just like Sean, I am like a full-grown man. I am above sleeping in my car nowadays. And I'm like, well, I'm not. Uh, 
Uh, Aaron, I went to uh, San Pedro Fish Market, the restaurant. Is that what you're talking about? I went there. The one right down the right down the bay, or from uh, from from Ballast Point, right? That place is delicious. It's ridiculous. I will go with him. I'll drag him there. That place was so good. I did like this ridiculous bake, like platter. Oh, I did like scallops and, and like shrimp, jumbo shrimp. See, let's do it, man. It was so dumb. And then I actually I took a I took a tuna a tuna melt home because it was like everything there was so it was so good. Yeah, I'm hungry now too. <laughs> I literally took like I had this ridiculous meal and I was so full and it was like midday we went there for like for some some girl's birthday or something like that. We went out on a duffy and then we went there. And then I, I took home a tuna melt. Because everything was just looked so good. I was like, I'm sure that's probably amazing. And it was. I think I took that and uh, their clam chowder home. Teddy! We're going to go to the San Pedro Fish Market with Aaron. Okay? Absolutely. Okay, he says he's in, Aaron. I just, I got a drink, though. Well, that's fine. I'll drive you. Either that or we'll Uber. But, like... Sundays are, cra or Sunday's, like, Sunday's probably the busiest day down there, right? I don't know. Sunday would be a good day for me. Well, you, you can't go Sunday. Why? Because you're here. Maybe, uh, I mean, maybe one of these days, I think, uh, what's your name? Yeah, Sunday's the worst, he said. What about Saturday? Saturday, I'm here. I'm here. But you don't have to be, because personals are going to be done by somebody else. Yeah, but you don't understand me, man. When I, when I want to have a day of recreation, I don't work See, Aaron way. agrees, Saturday. No, but it's hard. It's, it's hard. I, gotta, I work till extreme. Look, I'm here right now on Friday night. And, Aaron, uh, he's just making excuses. No, if somebody wants to cover for me on a Saturday night, I'll cover for you. I'll go eat with you guys, and then I'll come work. I don't care. See, no, I'm not giving you my dollar dollar bills. See? Somebody new off the street. <laughs> you don't want somebody new off the street doing this. They're going to they're gonna touch everybody's cards and mess them up. Aaron knows. But Aaron, for sure, we'll figure it out, man. That place is so good. Like, legitimately, I kind of want to go there after, like, just stay here until they open up and just stop by there on the way home. Aaron, you should see the, the list of... Uh... <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, you should see the, the picture of the, the cards I sent in. I finally sent in for redemption today. All the cards that I had from breaks back in the day and stuff. Luckily, none of them, none of them uh, expired, but I just sent them all in today, like an idiot. Jesus Lazardo, Rookie Refractor, Oakland A's, I Capola, uh, probably like 15 or 20. J.D. Martinez Blue for the Boston Red Sox to 75. Rick Thomas. I've literally, I've, I've had them for so long. I'm just glad that none of them were expired, but it was stupid. Nice. Nico Horner, rookie auto for the Chicago Cubs. Eric Ainge, congrats, man. He's a stud. I like him a lot. Bo Bichette, rookie base. Toronto Blue Jays, Peter Elias. Jesus Lazardo, 35th anniversary. Refractor, that's going to uh, I Capola. Brendan McKay, rookie refractor. Tampa Bay Rays, Eric Ainge. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Well, I was I was prompted to do it. Oh, very nice. Right on top. Jordan Alvarez, prism. Rookie prism. Houston Astros. That's going to Jay Remington. <laughs> Those are out of 23, right? Bo Bichette, rookie refractor. Toronto Blue Jays, Peter Elias. Jordan Alvarez, base. That's going to Jay Remington. And then 
Look at the auto on this. Apparently they used the wrong uh, wrong pen. Travis Lakins. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That looks terrible. But I mean, it's a rookie auto. Travis Lakins. This looks like a through the through the mail, like a TTM uh, card, like auto. Rookie auto for the Boston Red Sox, Rick Thomas. I hope he's amazing and that people always remember that auto. Dylan Cease, Freshman Flash, Chicago White Sox, Matthew Shearer. Oh, nice. So Aaron, I was prompted to send them in. Wow, there you go. Luis Robert, 35th anniversary refractor. Rookie refractor, Chicago White Sox, Matthew Shira. Congrats, man. This is a very nice box. Um, my buddy told me that uh, Drew Locke uh, redemptions are finally going out. George Springer, negative refractor. Houston Astros, Jay Remington. Kyle Lewis, freshman flash refractor. Seattle Mariners, Mark Bissett. And I have a I have a rookie rookie ticket from Contenders, Luis Robert, base rookie, Chicago White Sox, Matthew Shira. So I thought I might as well turn it in. Yo, yeah, uh, actually, yeah, only baseball and football, surprisingly. Luis Robert Bass, Chicago White Sox, Matthew Shira. Yusai Kikuchi, gold. 44 out of 50. Seattle Mariners. Mark Bassett. Tony Gonsolin, rookie refractor. And Jordan Alvarez, rookie refractor auto. Houston Astros, congrats. Jay Remington. AJ Puck, 35th anniversary refractor. Aristides Aquino, 35th anniversary refractor. Cincinnati Reds, Ryan Maloney. That's okay. There's plenty of other refractors. There's still his regular base refractor, not even the auto. We pulled a Mike Trout Super Fractor earlier from my first case. Bobby Bradley, base rookie auto, Cleveland Indians, I Coppola. Bobochet, freshman flash, refractor rookie, Toronto Blue Jays, Peter Elias. Very one lucky spot. Sometimes it's just meant to be, man. It doesn't make any sense, you know, but because you know, if you were in that red, if you were in that randomizer, you wouldn't have wanted the Angels because the other teams that were in there were actually a little bit higher in some cases. Rogelio Armenteros, rookie negative refractor, Houston Astros, Jay Remington, Jesus Lazardo, freshman flash, rookie refractor. Uh, I, I do, Aaron. I do. Speaking of Calamari, uh, Joe had Calamari today. I do like Calamari. I like it uh, I like it both ways. Like, either grilled with uh, lemon and, like, butter or um, breaded and fried. Big Boba Shet. 
I can't believe somebody let him sign these with the thick Sharpie. This is like going to be the only auto that looks like that. Nice, Bookum. That's very cool. Yeah, I'll try almost everything, Aaron. Almost everything. I feel like there's some stuff that I'm just like, not so much. Like fish eyes, not a, yeah, yeah. Fish eyes, I'm just like, eh, I'll probably do without that. <laughs> the, uh... What is it? Is it escabiche? Is that when they take the fish, they cook it out, and then they just put it out on the table all together? Is that what it's called? Escabiche? How they serve it that way? I'm not a huge fan of that preparation. I kind of like it when it's already, you know, pulled off the bone and stuff like that, so I don't have to deal with that part of it, but... Yeah, I forget. I forget. Whatever, whatever that preparation is, I prefer not to do that. But, like, if it's, like, a bucket of, like, shrimp and stuff like that, potatoes, corn, you're down. Um... I'm, I, you know, I haven't been to Joe's Crab Shack. I've, I've probably been to Joe's Crab Shack once or twice in my life. Um, since I'm down in Orange County, I've gone to, uh, like, the Rusty Pelican, which kind of does a similar thing like that. There's a bunch of places that aren't, you know, like, giant chains down in, like, Newport that I've been to that do stuff like that. But yeah, I haven't been to a, a, a Joe's Crab Shack in a long, long time. I think I've probably been like once or twice in my life. But I know there's one over by my house. I think by like down by like Disneyland. I feel like Rusty Pelican's just a solid name for like a fish restaurant, you know? Or like a bar near a fi like a fishing area. I'm sure there's probably one in Flor in, in Texas, South Carolina probably, all those places. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it in the, what's that center? Not the Grove, the Garden Walk, is that what it's called, Aaron? I live right down the street from there, Aaron. Or is it the one that's right across from, uh, is it on Chapman and Harbor? Across from that, that Hilton or Hyatt? I forget. I grew up right there in Garden Grove. Like three blocks away from that, that Har uh, Chapman and Harbor. Clearwater, Florida. I've only been to a cut with the Florida a couple times. I don't remember what parts. Yeah, Harbor and Chapman. I think that's the one. So if you went down Chapman past harbor so like if you were on chapman driving past harbor and that joe's crab shack was on your left and that hotel across the street is on the is on the right um yeah exactly next out back in red robin i literally went to elementary school on the very next street when you turn left i went to i went to elementary school there and then in that parking lot across the street from uh from joe's crab shack where that uh that hotel is 
there used to be a uh, driving range right there, and that's where I learned how to golf. We took like golf lessons and stuff there when I was a kid. I wish I would have learned more or actually tried better. This golf is amazing. Uh, no. Page Private School. I think it's actually still there. It's still in... It's literally still in use, like, as Page Private School. But I went there up until, like, second grade. I think the principal actually might still be the lady that, uh, that, uh, was there. She wasn't the principal then, but she was like one of the front office ladies. Arlene Martis. Her daughter, who was like obviously older than me, but like 18-ish. I think she used to, uh, yeah, she used to babysit me. It's funny. Oh, uh, that's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like Florida and California have a lot of similar cities and stuff like that. I don't know if it's, you know, I will actually, I, I mean, I feel like a lot of states have like a Garden Grove or like an Orange or, you know, like New York has an Orange County. There's Orange Counties all over the place. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I used to go to Hawaiian Gardens all the time. Oh, wow. So Aaron, you know where, uh, so like I said, I grew up right over by that, uh, that, um, what's it called? Joe's Crab Shack. You know where, uh, you know the Crystal Cathedral? Right on Chapman? After I left, after, uh, after, because Paige Private School only went up to second grade, I ended up having to go to Crystal Cathedral for school after that. So I went there from like third grade to eighth grade. And I lived directly across the street where that, um, I feel like it's, I think it's like Kaiser Permanente or, or one of the hospitals that's right there. I, uh, I grew up literally like the blo the block wall. That's the back of that right on the other side of that block wall. So we used to, my brother and I, he's, he's four years older than me. We would uh, walk to school or walk home. Uh, no, we get dropped off in the morning. It was still early, like on the way, my parents on the way to work or whatever. They dropped us off and then like we would walk home after school. It's funny. There's a little Taco Bell on the corner there. We used to crush that place. Mexican pizzas. Back in the day when they had Choco Tacos. That was the place. Yeah, Chapman and Lewis, right on the corner. There's a, there's like a, uh, like there's a barbecue, I think like a Lucille's barbecue place there now, on the other corner. That's like kitty corner to the, the hospital. I, uh, there used to be a Haas hut there, and like my grandparents, my mom's parents came down to live with us after they couldn't take care of themselves anymore from Se in Seattle, and we used to go there like every Friday night. It was awesome. Nice, another big rookie auto, Aristides Aquino. 
Cincinnati Reds, Ryan Maloney. Congratulations, Ryan. That's why when everybody says, like, when I say I grew up, like, right next to Angel Stadium, I legitimately grew up right next to Angel Stadium. L.A. Dodgers, 35th anniversary, Refractor, Gavin Lux. Ryan Harold, congratulations. Joe Palumbo, rookie auto, blue, for the Texas Rangers, numbered to 150. That's going to Steve Locke. Congrats, Steve. Masahiro Tanaka, orange, really nice looking card there. I'm sure it's probably like a short print or something. Out of 25 for the New York Yankees. That's going to Nick Stover. Brendan McKay, Freshman Flash, Refractor. Tampa Bay Rays, Eric Ainge. Yeah, Aaron, I was there when, uh, before the block was the block, when it was the city. And that was like a bad, like it was like a rundown mall then, too. Jesus Lazardo, rookie auto for the Oakland A's. That's going to I Capola. Congrats. Uh, the block. <laughs> so it used to be like a full on Shohei Otani, 35th anniversary refractor. That's going to Dan. Congrats, Dan. Um, it was like after the city, it turned into like the block, which was like a full fledged mall and it was fine and awesome and like outdoors and like. It was the place to go, especially as a kid living right across the street from it. I would walk there and just meet all my friends. And then it just went to crap and couldn't keep any of the stores. And now it's literally an outlet. Travis Demerit, rookie auto, Detroit Tigers, Rhea Mitchell. So it's now an outlet mall, but it's, it's doing good again. Kyle Lewis, 35th anniversary refractor, Seattle Mariners. That is Mark Bissett. So, from it kind of giving up on being, like, a regular mall and, like, having a couple of, like, outlets, like, Saks Fifth and stuff like that or Off-Broadway, now it's just a full-on outlet mall with, like, a couple of regular stores, and I guess it's doing okay. Yon Mankata, green to 99, 48 of 99 for the Chicago White Sox, Matthew Shira, and Aristides Aquino, freshman flash, refractor. Cincinnati Reds, Ryan Maloney. Yeah, exactly. That's the big thing. Bo Bichette, base rookie. Toronto Blue Jays, Peter Elias. Aristides Aquino, base. For the Reds and Ryan Maloney. Uh, Aaron, have you ever been to... Uh, over in Santa Ana by the Main Place Mall. If you ever go down there, I'm not sure if, you, if you're a fan of beers. Obviously, it sounds like you are. Beers and good food. Uh, you should check out Hollings Head Deli. Jordan Alvarez, rookie base. Houston Astros, Jay Remington. It's a, it's a Packers bar, but or like Packers restaurant and bar, but it is honestly the coolest place. Love that place. Mike Trout. Dan. You wanted another one because that other one had a, a messed up corner. There you go. 35th anniversary. Mike Trout Refractor. I know. I know. They're nice enough people, though. But, like, legitimately, if you go online and look up pictures of the place. See? There you go, Dan. There you are. 
Um, it's it's a it's a Packers place. Like the walls are just wall to wall like Packers memorabilia. Most of it's like uh, donated to them. It's pretty cool. I've gone there for a couple like Thursday night Packers games and everything. Hollingshead, like H O L L I N G H E A D S, all one word. Hollingheads Deli. It's right next to uh, St. Joseph's Hospital, where I was born. It's legit. Their deli is in incredible. Wear your Stafford jersey. They'll just give you shit, but they're they're cool people. The the family that owns that like uh, owns and operates it, um, they're they're season ticket holders. So they have their like they have their Packers stock certificate on the walls and stuff. It's pretty awesome. But their beer is actually the coolest thing. They have a beer, like a, a regular bar you can go sit at. Obviously not during now, but during regular times. And then they have like their walls of beers. And they have like, a, they have exclusive contracts with a bunch of like small time brewers and rare, brewer, rare barrel brewer, uh, beers and stuff like that. So you'll have to check it out, man. They, uh, they do the Pliny the Younger every year on I think President's Day or whatever day it is. They get like such a ridiculous amount of it. It's super cool. I'm not sure if you're a fan of Founders and like their stouts, but uh, like the CKS or whatever it is, they get like the rare version of that every year on tap and in, in bottles, I think. But yeah, you should check out their Instagram. Super cool stuff. Maybe time uh, time visiting your wife's sister. Your in-laws during the, the times when they have that. Yeah, K F K K B S. Dan, I think that's the one. Whichever one the rare one is, because they have the regular one that's available all year. And then they have, like, the super rare one That's um, that only comes out once a year. And they do, like, the release for that, too. I forget what the difference is, but they're incredible. But they do, like, all the all the Russian River stuff. They get it all. 22 for four? Yeah. yeah. But it's also good, you know, supporting a local family-owned beer and restaurant. I always like them. I've been there a couple times, like, when my girlfriend was working, whatever. And, uh, they, uh, Jumbo, pick your team, too. We did, Spiro. Um, the video should be uploaded. As long as I did my job. It might still be in the process. Uh, it's still processing, Spiro. <laughs> yeah, I want, I want more. I'll get you more Mike Trout. Give you a family of Trout. So yeah, Spiro, it says it's 86% processed on that video, so still got a little bit of time to go. And Spiro, once it's loaded, there is a, uh, a recap at the end of the video, I think like an hour and 20 minutes in. I'll give you a family of trouts. That's the one. Yeah, Aaron. Hollingshead Delicatessen. It should be like a Main Street address, probably. Yeah, if you look at the pictures on it, it's you, you can't miss it. Because, like... All the pictures that are online are legitimately all Packers. If you look at, they're, they're on Instagram. They're really cool. They, uh, they update all their stuff on Instagram with like whenever they get the, you know, new Russian River stuff in and whatever else as well. Um, well, all these are full cases, Gabe. But after this, I have a half case of Gold Standard, which I think is our last available for the week. Um, 
I think our next one will have to be next in the middle of next week. Gold standard went real quick tonight, guys. That stuff was incredible, so we'll see. Um, and then on top of that, we've got another jumbo uh, tops chrome, and then I'll have to go through orders after that. Uh, but I know NC football was one spot away from breaking tonight. I think somebody said that uh, like Revolution or something might have sold out. But yeah, I don't have a ton of a ton of orders, but I'm sure there was a there was a bunch of stuff that was close enough that we probably have a couple more, or at least one more break after that jumbo. But Teddy's still going strong over on Instagram on personals too. Oh, nice, dude. DJ Moore, DJ Moore and McCaffrey. That's cool. Was it a relic? I'm guessing. If it was a dual auto, that'd be incredible. But I'm, I'm assuming it's probably a. Yeah, McCaffrey. So Gabe, you'll probably remember this for bad reasons, but I was at the game in, at the Coliseum. This is after, who was your backup quarterback that beat SC when, wasn't it, was it Luck that was hurt or somebody was hurt? You guys beat SC in SC, knocked us out when we were like second or third ranked team in the country. And I think it was like the next year or the year after when you guys were like one of the top three teams in the country and you guys came to, it, was, it must have been two years later, and you guys came to the Coliseum as like the number two or three ranked team and like SC wasn't very good or whatever. Um, and then we beat you guys on a uh, game winning field goal, a walk off field goal. I remember rushing the field on that, that was incredible. Tavita, that's right. Yeah, and he was the, because he was the fill-in quarterback the time that you guys beat us, and then he was your starting quarterback the year that we beat you guys, when you guys were super highly ranked, I think. Yeah. But I was there for that game. I remember, I have pictures of us rushing the field and everything. It was pretty cool. <laughs> That's a big red angry face. Was that Gerhardt or who was who was, who did you guys have? Who was your star? Why were you guys like number two in the country? I forget. I want to say maybe like Kobe Fleener. I forget who was on that team. I remember you guys were like solid, but like, it was just like, wait a second, like, is like the Pac-12 down and they're just kind of like beating up on all of us or, I just, I can't remember why you guys were so incredible or like highly ranked that year. It was Luck and Gerhardt. But was that the year that we beat you guys, or was that the year you guys beat us? So did we beat the Luck and Gerhardt? Kobe Fleener, tight end. Well, no wonder you guys were so good. Kobe Gerhardt was an absolute monster. I told you about his baseball at Cal State Fullerton, that home run I watched. So in this break, we've hit a Jordan, an Aquino. I'd like to see a Lux and a Robert. But that's not asking too much. Maybe a Kyle Lewis. What other top rookies am I? Oh, Bichette. That'd be okay. Those four rookies would be okay. Maybe a, maybe a Mike Trout auto. 
a, a rookie reproduction Mike Trout auto for uh, for Dan. If I speak it into existence, it'll happen, right? Okay. Uh, so Tavita's the one where you guys beat us in the Coliseum when we were like top three ranked. And then Luck and Gerhardt and Fleener were when we beat you guys on that game-winning field goal. I think we had a backup quarterback that year, too. Or for that game. All I remember is we were bad. And it was just, we, we went there for tailgating and then ended up staying for the game. Seth Brown, rookie refractor for the A's. Zach Collins, rookie auto for the Chicago White Sox. That's going to Matthew Shira. Bo Bichette, base rookie. Toronto Blue Jays, Peter Elias. D. Gordon Green to 99, the Seattle Mariners, and Mark Bissett. Domingo Leba, rookie auto for the Arizona Card uh, Diamondbacks, not Cardinals. Matthew Stubblefield, wrong sport. Jordan Alvarez, 35th anniversary, refractor. Houston Astros, Jay Remington. Andrew Heaney, Prism, not a rookie, but Angels, Dan Witcher. Jordan Alvarez, Freshman Flash, Refractor, Houston Astros, Jay Remington. Luis Robert, freshman flash refractor. Chicago White Sox, Matthew Shira. Mark McGuire, die cut. Jordan Alvarez, base. Houston, going to Jay Remington. Brendan McKay, 35th anniversary refractor. Tampa Bay Rays, Eric Ainge. My best friend was on USC's team. 08-11. Receiver, but not one of the big names. He had some stud wide receivers. He was John and Larry in the band. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's the story with SC, though, man. They just get so loaded. And that's why it's so frustrating that they haven't done anything of note for the last, you know, what, however many years? Like, the last decade has just been killed by the SEC. And SC's still been a god in recruiting and hasn't been able to do shit. Hunter Dozier, green to 99. Holy hell. That's pretty good. Pretty good, right? Yeah. It's not, what, what did he hit out of this? He hit 101, right? Yeah, it was on card 101 auto. But yeah. still, I mean, it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Red Devils. What's Red Devils? Red Devils is the, the team nickname for the Manchester City. Oh, I'm sorry, not Manchester City. Manchester United. Manchester United fans would be so mad at me for saying that out loud. I didn't mean it on purpose. Danny Mendick, rookie auto, Chicago White Sox. Matthew Shira. Gavin Lux, 35th anniversary refractor. Dodgers and Ryan Harold. Woo! Chicago White Sox. Matthew Shira. Luis Robert Prism. Congratulations, man. The one, two. Thanks. Johnny Bench, rookie reprint with Bat Relic. No numbering on that. Cincinnati Reds, Ryan Maloney. And also for Ryan Maloney, Aristides Aquino, base rookie. 
Artie Stennis. Bo Bichette. Base rookie, Toronto Blue Jays, Peter Elias. And Andres Munoz, rookie auto for the San Diego Padres. Jason Keen. Another nice one for you. Chicago White Sox, Luis Robert. 35th anniversary refractor. Matthew Shira, congrats, man. Nice uh, White Sox box. Danny Mendick, auto. Robert Prism. Robert, refractor, 35th anniversary. Nico Horner, freshman flash, refractor. Chicago Cubs, Eric Ainge. Justin Dunn, rookie negative refractor, Seattle Mariners, Mark Passett, AJ Puck, freshman flash, Oakland A's, uh, that's for I Coppola, Nolan Ryan, die cut, and those are boxes 11, or 10, 9 and 10. Gabe Bear, we're not talking uh, De La Salle, are we? When you say your buddy played up there? We're not talking about Concord De La Salle, right? We played them in high school. We almost beat the... We, we were the team closest to beating their streak the first time we played. Okay. Modern day high school. Oh, Milpitas? The first year we played Concord de la Salle, there was, um, what was his name? DJ Williams, the guy who was a stud for uh, for Miami and also for the Denver Broncos. Uh, Modern Day High School from Santa Ana. Um, Car uh, yeah, DJ Williams was their linebacker and running back. Atari Callen was the running was their like fast running back, not the physical running back. It was stupid. Um, who was the lineman? You had, like, there was, like, I, I think, like, I don't even, I forget who the lineman was. Somebody crazy. Um, I'm trying to remember who, like, he was, like, a all-time, like, NFL lineman. Just ridiculous. Oh, Orange Lutheran? Okay. I uh, I actually live really close there, uh, Gabe. I, I live really close to uh, Orange Lutheran. Like five minutes from there. My parents live right up the hill from the from there. I'm assuming Orange Lutheran's field is also attached to their school, right? But yeah, I live I live right off of that street. That's uh, they kind of really close to them. Almost done, guys. Boxes 11, 12 here. Hell of a break so far. It's gonna be a really nice recap. Tops Chrome is insane. Insane. Oh, okay. So 
I'm assuming that their field is probably at Chapman University then. Maybe. If that's the case, then I, I live in, I mean, Chapman University, where the circle is, I live two miles away from there, Gabe. When I, when I like, bought my house and everything, I, uh, I wanted to be as close as possible to Chapman University. And since I grew up in that area, that's where I wanted to stay. Such a cool little area. They're turning it like they're they're bringing in so many restaurants and stuff. It's insane. Yeah, Chapman Chapman's baseball isn't the greatest, but I mean, if trust me, if you're from Orange County or Orange County area and you're good at baseball, you're usually going to a uh, you're usually going to Cal State Fullerton, UCLA, USC. Even UCI, you know, you want to get out. Well, you want to get out of Orange County, San Diego, USD. You know, there's so many good, so many good baseball schools around here. Nice. He was going where to uh, LA Harbor, Gabe. Oh, he played at Chapman? Nice. That's cool. Yeah, I feel like Chapman does a good job of being able to draw in kids from, like, outside of Orange County area because... I mean... It's a cool, you know, it's a cool school in a, like, very nice area, you know? I'm happy to live there. And like everything in the area is kind of being tailored to the university now. It's pretty cool. They have so many so many bars and breweries that are going into that area. And like it's legitimately like all a one minute walk from like the dorms and all the places around there. It's stupid. It's like it's like there's certain universities like SC has a bar on campus. You know what I mean? But like from where the dorms are to that bar are farther away than where Chapman University is to like 30 bars. And their film school is like world renowned. Um, it's, it's weird, Gabe, but that's where I got my degrees, actually. Yeah, it's 100% a computer school. 100% a computer school. Like, yeah. Yeah. Unless you play, unless you play baseball there, you're, you're literally there just, just to get your degree, or to get your degree to go on to, like, grad school somewhere else. But yeah, I went, I went there, that's where I got my two degrees, through their business school, which is actually, honestly, like, one of their better, better programs out of all of them. But it was close for me, so I could still live, like, local and work and, you know, do night school. So it, it fit all the needs for me to be able to still earn money and, you know, get my degrees. But, yeah, there's not really – there's no, like, nothing really going on at that school. Like, we, I would go to the Super Regional Games and stuff like that and – You'd get a little bit of spattering, but that, that was like alumni and stuff like that. Yeah. That's the hard part is if you have a chance to play baseball at Fullerton, play baseball at Fullerton. It doesn't matter like how 
shitty the like this the college life is and like how it's nothing like any you know actual university. It's Fullerton baseball. I mean, just think about all the names that have come through there. They're always competitive. Always competitive. So. And their alumni is actually very well connected. Obviously, not only in Major League Baseball, but. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Think about you do well, do well at Cal State Fullerton. Obviously, you're you know at Fullerton's on everybody's radar, so you do well there. You get exposure. <laughs> you get in the majors. You know, sign a uh, sign a contract or whatever. You don't have to look for girls anymore. I mean, Justin Turner's done pretty well for himself, I'm sure. Kurt Suzuki. How many others that are currently playing? Yeah, it's still crazy to look and see how many like Cal State Fullerton players are in Major League Baseball. boxes guys good luck everyone coming up after this gold standard number eight I've got the boxes right behind us so we can roll right into that Nico Horner rookie refractor Chicago Cubs, Eric Ainge. Luis Robert, base rookie, Chicago White Sox, Matthew Shira. Dario Agrizal, rookie auto, Detroit Tigers, Rhea Mitchell. Uh, we don't, Tito, we don't schedule them for later on in the day. We schedule them as they sell out. Matt Theis. Rookie Refractor for the Angels, Dan Witcher. So, I've got a couple of breaks sold out after this. Kyle Lewis, base rookie, Seattle Mariners, Mark Bissett. So next up I know for a fact is Gold Standard number 8. And then we have Jumbo, a Jumbo Tops Chrome break after that. And then I think I had uh, another break sell out potentially. So I'll have to take a look and see. Travis Demerit, Rookie Auto for the Detroit Tigers. Purple, number to 250. Uh, Detroit Tigers, Rhea Mitchell. So, Tito, if you go to the site and it says that it's, like, available, we would actually schedule it once it sells out. So we don't schedule them for a certain time. We just do it based on, you know, when the breaks sell out. So it's kind of a pick-your-own-adventure. You sell something out, you want it to break, help sell it out, you know. Kyle Seeger, Blue. To 75 for the Seattle Mariners. That's going to Mark Bissett. I think Teddy and I might go get breakfast after this. I might try to convince him that. Gavin Lux, base rookie for the Dodgers. Uh, Ryan Harold. Freshman Flash, Dustin May, Dodgers, Ryan Harold. Ichiro, die cut.
Jordan Alvarez base. Houston Astros. That's going to Jay Remington. We have a redemption. Anybody seen any redemption so far in this? Uh, I don't. I think we're out, Tito. We sold out of it on on release day. We did a, a bunch of cases, probably like six or seven cases, I think today. At least four on here, maybe one or two on personals. Nico Horner, 35th anniversary refractor, Chicago Cubs, going to Eric Ainge. But keep an eye on the site. If we have it, we'll load it on there. Shohei Otani Prism. For the Angels, going to Daniel Witcher. Bruce Star Gratterall. Purple to 299. Los Angeles Dodgers and Ryan Harold. Dylan Cease, rookie refractor, Chicago White Sox. Logan Webb, base rookie auto. San Francisco Giants, that's going to I Coppola. Brendan McKay, friend, uh, freshman flash, refractor. Tampa Bay Rays, Eric Ainge. Luis Robert, base rookie. Chicago White Sox, Matthew Shira. Bo Bichette, 35th anniversary refractor. Toronto Blue Jays, Peter Elias. And that's the break. Let's see what this refer this uh, redemption is. Yeah, no worries, Tito. So, rookie autograph refractor parallel. So that should be numbered to four ninety nine. Of. Ooh, Toronto Blue Jays, Bo Bichette. Peter Elias, congratulations. Very nice, my friend. So we had three of the big rookies in that one. Aquino, Alvarez, and Bichette. Our, uh, our Robert and Lux in the next one? We'll have to see. Give me a second, guys. Let me put this stuff away, and then we'll do a little recap video. Teddy, are you done for the night? Just keep going. Oh, yeah? Keep yeah, we can go get breakfast. We can go get breakfast. So just stay here then. Sounds like a cool nickname. Very nice break, guys. Tops Chrome. Hot, hot, hot shit. I might be getting a case for myself. Just not getting enough of it. Gotta, gotta get my own case. I mean, I've opened two cases, put some awesome autos, ridiculous parallels of all the top rookies, and a Mike Trout Super Cracker. I'd say it's going well. Cool. Recap time. Very nice cards. Very nice 
everything. Nico Horner Refractor. Lots of good names, lots of good color. Lou Bob popped up a lot. Jordan Alvarez, Lou Bob, Jordan, McKay, Lux, Robert. I mean, big time Robert there, Prism rookie. I mean, these things are loaded, man. Just loaded. Mike Trout, Refractor. Alvarez, Prism rookie. Robert, Refractor. Robert, Robert. Aquino. Lewis. Mike Trout with a dinged up corner, unfortunately. Robert. Trout. Look at all this stuff. This is absolutely disgusting. Guys, if you haven't gotten in on any Topps Chrome yet, I mean, I hope these, <laughs> these recaps kind of show you what can come out of them. Uh, we got a rookie reprint relic, Johnny Bench. And then our autos. Bo Bichette, refractor auto to four ninety nine. Aristides Aquino, base rookie auto. Nico Horner, base rookie auto. Jordan Alvarez, refractor auto to four ninety nine. Brian Abreu, orange to twenty five. Glaber Torres, rookie reprint. Refractor Auto to 99. Yep, 46 to 99. And that's the break, guys. That was 2020 Tops Chrome Baseball Hobby 12 box case break number four. Pick your team. I'm Sean, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you guys next time.